for those that don't know me, I'm Max Wakefield, I'm the Managing Director of Chelsea Auto Legends, and thank you to uh, everyone who's spoken before me. Um, they've got so much of this show about them, and that's why we're here. Cecil Rhodes said, to be born English is to win first prize in the lottery of life. And what a great year to be British. What a great summer of celebrations. We've got the Jubilee going up the river. We've got the Olympics, and we have our own Chelsea Auto Legends motor racing show. Our industry brings billions to the country. We employ tens of thousands. In fact, there are 25,000 people with motor racing licenses. And you'll be hard to name a few because we seem to do it behind a curtain somewhere in some dust-blown track in the middle of nowhere. And that's why we thought, let's bring motor racing to London. Let's, let's show London what motor racing is about so that families can come and see it and so that people can enjoy it. And perhaps one day in the future, some child will say to us, I took up motor racing because you showed me cars. And if they say that, then all of this will have been worthwhile. And why are we so good at motor racing? Because we're British and we fight and we win. But the fight is not always about sport. And I think we're standing here in the Royal Hospital. We should realize that the fight is sometimes a good deal more serious than that. The fight is a job for the armed forces. And I'm therefore passionate because I was a soldier, and I have been to a war, I am passionate about the Royal Hospital and walking with the wounded. And there's no time to kick lanterns and tell you war stories, but I will tell you, when you're standing in front of your soldiers, as I have done, and you're pointing to the enemy just over there, and you say it's time to go, they may look at their hands, and they may scuff the ground with their feet, and they may smoke a cigarette in one long drag, but they never say, no boss. They just do it because they know what a war is about. A war is about the line, it's, it's about a line. That's what wars are about. You may think it's a line between an invading force and you sitting here nervously wondering, but in fact it's now about a political line, and sometimes it's very hard to hold the line when you don't necessarily believe in it. But these are professionals who go about their job on a daily basis holding that line. And so who holds the line now? <coughs> It's you guys, the journalists, and we have the walking with the wounded here, and I want you to give them the oxygen they need to continue what they're doing. A brilliant new charity is enthusing wounded soldiers, getting them out, getting them onto mountains to enthuse other wounded soldiers to see what is possible. And their message is pretty simple. It's pick up your bed and walk and lead your life. And the Royal Hospital is here in those sunset years to give you a bed when you need it. And so I feel very passionately about that. And I was a proud to be a part of it, and you as journalists should be, a, be proud to be a part of this. So what have we done? We've put a motor racing show on the grounds to be a conduit for this effort. And I think you can see from outside that I shouldn't need to talk too much about the future, about what we're going to provide at Chelsea Auto Legends in 2012, for you to be absolutely confident that we're going to bring you the very best cars, the very best racing cars, the very best amusing cars, motorcycles, things for children to see and do, things, for, things to buy, things to go and amuse yourselves with. But the answer comes down to this, why motor racing and why also the armed forces? And it's quite straightforward, because we both fight and we both win, and I want you to be there and be a part of it. Thank you very much.